about a year ago, we added a really helpful tool that helps me pre-flight right here in the office before I even get to the airplane, and that is PlaneSync. That is a remote aircraft management system that is enabled by installing a GDL 60 data link in the airplane, and it enables us to upload databases directly to the airplane and learn the status of the aircraft before you even get down to the airplane. So let's take a look at what this looks like on the Garmin Pilot app. So here under the aircraft tab, I have November 4 Golf Alpha. And as you can see here at the top, it says that the databases are up to date. And when you're taking an IFR flight, that's obviously one of the most important things that you need to know so that you are uh, IFR legal. Uh, so last updated on October 30th, you can take a look at the details here. And then really handy, you can see the hobs and tack time. Uh, the fuel state here shows that we have 43 gallons, has outside uh, uh, air temperature and oil temperature and even the battery voltage. Uh, and I kind of like the fact that it shows you uh, where your aircraft is located. That's especially helpful if somebody else was the last one who flew the aircraft. We saw on the PlaneSync widget that the airplane should have about 43 gallons of fuel and there was a database update yesterday, so we should already see that updated. You know, the GDL uh, 60 is effectively always on, and so it'll download the database either via Wi-Fi or a cellular connection anytime, day or night, and we'll upload it to the panel. So let's check it out. Well, here we have it, 22 gallons in the left tank, 21 gallons in the right tank, so there's the 43 that PlaneSync told us to expect. If you look at the GTN 750, all databases are up to date, so now we're good to go. Okay, so we just returned from our flight, and one of the really neat aspects of PlaneSync is that it automatically uploads your engine data and your flight data to Fly Garmin and the Garmin Pilot app. So we can click on our logbook for the flight, and you click on the engine data, you can see all the parameters of that flight, and you can scroll through. And if you go back and you look at the the data on the map, you can look at your flight track, you can look at your altitudes and air speeds and see if you had a stabilized approach. So a really handy tool that, that you don't have to put any SD cards in your airplane or any cables, it just automatically appears in Garmin Pilot and I think that's really nice to have. So the GDL60 with PlaneSync is available for $4,250 uh, plus installation in your aircraft and the subscription to PlaneSync is $30 per month.